Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in da, 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 da. The Grinch Sadly without Jim Carrey this time uh, But this was developed by Casual Brothers Games Published by Outright Games and it's usually available for £34.99 slash $39.99 But hopefully today it arrives on Game Pass as previous Outright Games games have done games Big shout out by the way to Outright Games and for being a part of their awesome partner program, Muchos Lovios. So just in time for Christmas, the Green Goblin, who's not actually a goblin, is back and ready to steal Christmas from the High Nose 2s. This is a platformer that really reminds me of early 90s Sega games like Aladdin, Lion King, etc. Only this time, the game is a lot easier than those in the 90s. Now as for achievements and trophies, it basically goes like this. So there's 15 levels and 3 sort of short levels, but every level we need to find and grab 8 puzzle pieces. Those can be turned into doing puzzle which give you upgrades, and it's mainly those upgrades that fills out this entire achievement list. Fully upgrading, completing the game and finding 100% of the presents in just one level is all needed for the full 1k slash platy jubes. It is a lovely yet easy enough game and can be done in less than two hours or roughly around two hours. So with that being said then, let's do it. So we will start up here. Of course, there are, so there's basically three sessions of levels, the caves, the countryside, and then Whoville itself. You can actually hold the A button to speed up any dialogue, which we will be doing for uh, the majority of the game, wherever we can. Um, again, there is only one Grinch, by the way, Benedict Cumberbatch, Kumpungkunga Mundung, uh, his, yeah. A decent Grinch, but nobody will ever beat the 2000 classic. Um, but hey, that's just my opinion. People who are not as old as me will not remember, probably. So, first of all, we'll head to the left when we begin. And this is what the puzzle pieces looks like. Very golden and very obvious to the eye. Now, remember, we need to be collecting... 100% of the presence in one level, and this is the level we're going to do it in. So, in the bottom right-hand corner, as you can see, make sure that you're on the same amount of presence that I am before moving on to the next area. So, just carry on smashing through, and you should be on two puzzle pieces there, and 11. Then we can just head to the door, press the white button to exit, and off we go, slinky dinky. So, on we go then. Um, you can hold the uh, B button in order to sprint. Uh, a button, obviously, to jump, and that's pretty much it. Eventually, we'll be able to do a double jump, etc. Anytime you're near a ledge there, just press the A button to climb up. These bells are basically checkpoints, so anytime you die, there's plenty of them in a level as well. So anytime you die, you will just go back to there. Now, these spiders are, well, they're not too bad, actually. You can just jump on them. This will actually get you your first achievement called Jump Over. So that will do that one. Uh, again, just like a platforming game, make sure to not die by spikes, as spikes, well, they pierce you very, in very intense and not very nice places, so just be aware of that. So, by now, when we get to this point again, as you can see, we should be on 28, 29, 30 presents. There's another puzzle piece, so that'll be number three. Heading down and apparently not going to the right because I missed it. <laughs> anyway, go to the right again. That is another checkpoint. So, again, with this jingly ball, <laughs> jingly ball, it uh, just requires a bit of timing, so just wait, and then we'll drop down on the platform, make sure to grab that present that was on that platform, and you should be on 33, it's 36 now. Wait for the jingly ball to go past either way, and nip on through. And, again, so the game, this is basically how the game plays out a lot. Um, obviously, platforms, and just collecting stuff, and... You know, it's it's basically the same in terms of enemies and everything, so it's not too bad. Uh, so we'll hold the B button in order to push through. Max must be nearby. Oh, Max! <laughs> well, Max must be nearby. Jump on the spider, or again... Now, basically, you get... So, the first couple of levels before we hit the upgrades as we go into this house, we get... Oh, hello. Uh, we finally got that achievement there. That popped quite late. Uh, so Max is here as well in the house, which he will come in mega handy. Oh, Max! You know, again, Jim Carrey classic. So grab all the presents here, should be on 67 at the minute. And now, if I can actually get past this chair, which would be nice, now we're going to head up the stairs. 
And this door's locked. Oh, no. But again, we've got place to do, things to see. And Max. So grab all the presents again in this room. There's a switch. So again, you can press the left bumper in order to switch to little Maxi Mumus. Little Maximus Piggle Pie. So switch to Max. Go underneath the door. We will also get the next achievement there for using Mayax. And then in this room then, again, after Max pushes on the button, you need to make sure to grab all presents and the next puzzle piece. So you should be on four right there and 78 presents before going into this room. So just make sure that you're on that one. So again, as you can see, so by leaving this room, you should now be on four puzzle pieces and 87 presents. If you're not, you probably just missed one. So, you know, just go and grab everything before you come out. Right, so continuing on. And jumping through, there's actually one that is very easily, uh, one puzzle piece that's very easily missed in this level. But jump straight down before heading all the way to the right. As you can see, there is another puzzle piece and some more presentios. Man, these who's are very careless, leaving their presents around. This is, uh, I tell you what, if nobody's, uh, if it's my presence, yeah, I will never, never be this careless. I like presents. I also like Christmas. I like food. I also like to have a few drinks too. Right, this is where the next puzzle piece is. Make sure to jump up. It's very easy to miss that one there. Right at the top of that elevator ride is where the next puzzle piece was. So you should now be on 6 and 110 before heading into the background. So again, just uh, hopefully you can make sure that you're on that. Here's the next puzzle piece. Very easy. So just jump up and then jump across. Again, like I said, there's lots of checkpoints. So if you fall off a platform or die... You don't start from that uh, long ago, which is always nice. Uh, jumping up then. So again, remember it's eight in every, eight, eight puzzle pieces in every level. So we've just got one left to grab. And again, you should be on 118 by now. Uh, 120 presents, 121. I'm obviously not going to be talking throughout the entirety of the game. This is, again, a lot of the levels end up being quite similar. So it's just a case of effectively going right until we find some more stuff. So watch out for that big red bow. More presents up here, which we are going to need to get. Up oh, where there we go. Nice one, little Marge Simpson Grinch haircut do. And watch out for the spiders again. So yeah, I, I, like I said, in terms of enemies and everything, the game, ah, you hurt me, uh, is very similar. Grab the eighth puzzle piece there, go to the right. That'll be the first level complete. But yeah, as I said, there is a lot of um, a lot of similarities in the game. So there's a couple of new mechanics when we do the upgrades and stuff later. Um, but it's uh, genuinely all good. Now remember, ignore this bit for now. We did collect all eight presents. I actually missed one the first time I went through. And it was the one at the top of that elevator ride, which is not nice. So what we can do now then is, and what I will be doing actually, is with the puzzles... They're very easy enough, so I'll just be speeding through them. I'm not going to cut them out completely. Um, just uh, so we can press the Y button now in order to do the puzzle. But I won't cut it out completely just because uh, I don't want to disrupt the flow of the guide and the game. So you can pick whichever one you want because, in fact, we have to play the cave twice. Um, the, the next level twice in order to get all of the puzzle pieces, which is a bit annoying. So you can pick whichever one you want. I just went for the candy cane lasso. Uh, so, as you can see, with the puzzle piece, it's very easy because you can already see what pieces need to go in the background. The picture's basically already there, which is slicey-nicey. So, then we can just begin the caves level 2. And like I said, so, we'll be able to collect 7. Whichever way you go, we'll always collect 7 the first time, and then we have to play through it again in order to get the next upgrade to get the last puzzle piece. So, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Well, the Grinchy is uh, certainly pulling out a surprise from his no trousers right there. Eek. So, these guards, um, they literally just walk back and forth looking cold as they do. Just jump on the heads and it is easy enough. Huh? Ha! Huh? Ha! Also, remember, we don't have to collect all 100% presents in this level. It was only the first one that we had to do, as we just get 
Well, he just stuck his nose right where the sun didn't shine, Mr. Grinch. But yeah, we don't have to collect 100% of uh, presents, so you don't have to worry about that. But this is where we're going to get the first puzzle piece then, just by jumping up with the candy cane or the candy floss, whatever it is. Again, if you took the double jump, you won't be able to get this one yet. But there's one a little bit later on where we cannot uh, get it because we don't have the double jump feature yet. So that's, again, it's one of the abilities used and the achievements unlocked. So again, obviously just continue forward to the right. I will try and go sort of as slow slash fast as I can. So hopefully you don't have to keep pausing the TV. This is where the double jump would have come into effect if I had it. But I don't have it. So again, we're going to have to come back later on. Um, in terms of collectibles, if you do collect um, anything and you finish the level, uh, it, they stay collected. But again, we have to go through this whole level again in order to get the last one. So this is a little new mechanic. We're basically going to be heading into creatures and people's homes. And effectively, you normally get two, maybe three uh, things that are after you. Uh, apparently, it's gingerbread cookies this time. But we just have to avoid them. You can hide under ta uh, things like tables, wardrobes, and beds. Beds won't be uh, available until, like, the third level of the countryside. So here is the second puzzle piece anyway. So press Y to go get under and just pop back out. So that should be two. Then once we head into the next room, there's going to be a third one by the fireplace. Or this room, third, just by the fireplace. There it is. Smash the chair over because, you know, you're the Grinch and you're a nasty man. Well... And again, so what you can see is the health bar there at the top. As soon as it starts red, they will start chasing you. Again, obviously, at the minute, we've only got two hits. So if basically, and if you catch the, uh, get the fourth puzzle piece, we'll get out of here. So basically, if they uh, catch us once, that's fine. If they catch us again, they will hug us. Obviously, the Grinch doesn't like hugs, as the fifth piece is there. And you will just start from the beginning of the house section again. So again, it's not too bad. Um, there may be only a few times you may be caught a little bit there. So this little pipe is, as you can see, it's kind of like teleportation. So you jump in and you go to a new area. This time we're going up and down and all around. And it's Christmas time! Right, so uh, yeah, continuing to the right because that is every game. I wonder what's going to be the first game where it actually starts going to the left to finish. That'll just mess everyone up, wouldn't it? So what you can do then is jump, press the Y button, and you can obviously go upwards. Obviously, if you had the double jump, you would have to go through the pipe. So it doesn't matter which way you go, um, but just keep pressing the A and the Y button until we get to the very, very top. Uh, don't worry, like I said, we are going to still collect uh, number six and number seven, whichever way that you go, as we are going to be entering the next house of sorts. Now... So what we're doing then, just making some noise and, uh, well, the plan was to go around L Gingerbread Man and go up the stairs, but uh, since he's just beaten me to a pulp, let's just go into the next room and uh, we'll just wait until he comes round and then we'll just go around him. <laughs> Although apparently they do pick up speed when they want to give you a hug. Stop loving me! It's because I'm green, isn't it? Anyway, get upstairs, go to the left and hide in the wardrobe. The next puzzle piece we will actually use big Maximilians for in just a second. Uh, so you can actually, when you're hiding, you can use Max. Apparently they don't like dogs, so it's all good. There is number six then, just underneath. So we've got one more for the minute. So what we'll do, we'll get back up. And there he is. So again, just watch out and go to the right. We're going to head back down the stairs. And uh, we will then go to the right, into this room, and get the hell on out of here. Am I just eating because I'm bored? Right, so, number six done. Let's continue on our merry little way. Huh? Another door locked. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So when we get through one of these do doors, what you can do is hold the left bumper to call Max. If you don't, he will come to you anyway, but obviously the, you know, the screen goes a bit funny. So there's number seven anyway. Use Max to get the seventh piece, and then it will effectively be the end of the level. And then, once again, we will do the cave number two again, just to get the eighth puzzle piece out of the way. So this will be the end of the level. Now we can do the puzzle again, the next puzzle, and get the... Double jump ability! <laughs> Look at you, double jumping and stuff! But yes, you will be able to get the double jump ability. Again, sadly, you'll have to collect the next puzzle piece and complete the level. As if you just quit out, it doesn't count, which is obviously not a pain in the old bazon tight at all. Anyway, do the puzzle, get the double jump, and away we go. You'll also get an achievement for double jumping. Have a rough to old Christmas. Steal it is brave. To get on with the plan, get out of this cave. On guard for the gap. Ha! Ha! Crackers grin, how they go? Try bowling ha. them over with a roly pole rock. Ha. Ha. Okay, so we are coming up to the puzzle piece eight. Now, again, obviously, a lot of the times, you know, if it's just a case of going right as we get the last puzzle piece there, so that's number eight. Again, we will have to finish the level though, unfortunately. Um, but yes, so if, if I'm not talking, it's because there's no point in talking, because again, effectively it's going to the right and just avoiding spiders, that's why I'm going sort of as slow slash fast as I can, so you can keep up and you don't have to keep pausing the video, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, what is that stench? It's fantastic! Cookies nearby. Ha! Seesaw. Ha! Gross. Oh. Great job. This jingle. <laughs> A great Grinchy jump. Ah. Oh. Jump from the rope. Ah. Oh. Oh. Another door locked. A whistle. Ha! Hmm. Ha! the third level of the cave. See? Yeah, 20 minutes in already on level 3. Nice and easy. So, this uh, this time we got some bounces, which, uh, well, you know what a bouncer is. You bounce on it, you bounce up. Make sure to grab the first puzzle piece, though, before moving on. Hello! There it is. And then, yes, that's that one. Obviously, remember not to get balls slapped in your face. Apparently, uh, especially hard balls, they hurt. Blue balls, on the other hand, not so sure. Uh, so, jump up to the left. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. 
Uh, jump to the left. You can use the candy lasso if you so wish, but into the left we're going into this house first of all. So creep your way in. It doesn't matter because they're going to try and catch us anyway. Obviously the second puzzle piece is right here, right in the middle of the room, which gingerbread... Get the hell out of the way! Get the hell out... Thank you! Right, and now we've got another one, so if you can, try and avoid him. As it turns out, I ran straight into him because... Why not? Heading up the stairs, going to the right in the bathroom, there is the next puzzle piece. So that should be number three. Uh, grab all the presents again if you wish. Go into the room on the left with the fiery, cozy, cozy fire. And that's it. We'll just exit and be on our a merry, merry way. Use the candy cane ah. last suit. Ah. Jump over these banks. Ha 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 Oh, bleeding hearts of the world, unite! Unite to get the fourth puzzle piece, which is going to be right here. So what we need to do is press Y to get in your candy lasso and ever so slowly just drop down. That will be numero four. Hmm. Ha! Ah. Hmm. Another luck. You know how it goes. <laughs> Give Max a whistle. Hmm. Ha. I'm an idiot! You're an idiot! Uh, again, if you're wondering what's going on, I am quoting, yes, from the 2000, the best Grinch film. Uh, just in case you were wondering why I'm talking crap, which you already know. Anyway, jump down on the bouncer. You should get, should have got number five, puzzle piece number five, and then continue bouncing your way up. Now, again, you can go to the left, which we are going to do. Head into the house, and, uh, yes, let's get some mo. So, yeah, the cave's number three. I thought we were number two for some reason then. Right, there is going to be a little gingerbread. Let's call him... Well, gingerbread man, I suppose, because that's what they are. Sometimes they will be on the steps, so you just have to kind of be a little bit careful. Uh, but head into the right when we get down anyway. There's number six. Head up the next set of steps. And there is going to be someone up here. As you see, I just ran straight into him. But the room on the right there has uh, number seven. Now, because I've only got one sort of heart left or whatever, I'm just going to wait until I have a little bit of space. And then we're going to back out of it. Well, maybe I could use a little social interaction. No, I'm not very good at Jim Carrey stuffs, but still, there we go. So that'll be number seven, and we are just going to wait for a second until we get old Cookie Boy. Old, there he is. Hello, looks like you've been in the oven for too long. But you will bet you're still delicious. Anyway, head back up these steps here on the left-hand side, and we will, uh, well, let's get the hell out of here, man. So then this time we are going to there's basically two ways you can go. You can continue on you can continue on feet and go to the right or you can continue climbing up. Uh, I think uh going underneath you can still get the last puzzle piece, but I just found it easier to be climbing up. 
So with these seesaws, just run as fast as you can, make a jump for it. There we go. And then what we're going to do is drop down once. You see all the presents and the last puzzle piece is there to the left. So we drop down. And as it turns out, no, we can't actually. So you would need, in order to get the last puzzle piece, you would have needed to nip up. And ba bam That's the end of cave number three. So, tis time for another puzzle. Uh, we should have uh, more than enough by now, so we, now we can do the snowboard one. Again, crack it on, and basically the snowboard is literally for the last of the levels. So the three short levels I was talking about earlier, you'll do the five main levels in each one, and the sixth level will be a short snowboarding one. So you're going to need to unlock this in order to continue anyway, which you physically cannot. So, on to number four. And so another little new enemy of sorts is basically these icicles that are hanging down from the ceiling. So you can tell when they start dropping, as soon as they start dropping, in about two or three seconds, they drop completely. So again, just be aware of them. Before heading to the right, what we're going to do is just wait here. And there we go. We're going to get on the flying uh, thing. We'll actually drop down here is what I'm going to do. And we found another puzzle piece. Look at that. Look at that. So we need Max to get on the switch, and then we can grab the puzzle piece. That'll be number... Hey! Max! Thank you, Max. So that's the first puzzle piece already. Then what we'll do is actually get back on the flying platform. And we are going to head up, up, up and away, and go to the left. As soon as you can. There it is. Go to the left. We are heading inside another house. Spider butt down. And the feast, 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 feast! Number two, complete with a bunch of presents. Another cookie I decided to run straight into for some reason. Uh, the second puzzle piece there, or the third puzzle piece, is just under the table. So that's two rooms and two puzzle pieces. And then that's, uh, yeah, that's effectively it. Only the two, and then you can head out to the right. And then we continue on. So again, obviously when I'm not talking, it basically means that we are just going to keep on heading to the right. Red. Red. Ha. Ha. So just after this checkpoint, what we'll do is drop down and to the left here, there is another puzzle piece. Again, uh, you know, a lot of them are sort of on the straight path and narrow, but some you can easily miss. Um, so obviously grab that number four and then we can just drop straight down and continue on to the right. Use the candy cane lasso. Jump from the rope to candy cane lasso. Jump from the rope to candy cane lasso. Uh-huh. Oh. Ha. And PP number five. <laughs> That's a puzzle piece, PP. Sorry. Uh, so PP number five is right here, right in the way. So just make sure to grab this one before swinging and candy lassoing. Oh. Ha. And breaking into someone's house again. Now, I thought when they tried to catch us, they wanted to kick us out, but they love us because we're green. And green's a good color in Christmas. Right, grab the next puzzle piece there under the table. By the way, some of the noises, especially the who's later on, are hilarious. Um, but you'll just see it. Uh, otherwise, they're just going or something for now. So up the steps, right in the middle of the room here is number number seven. And then we'll just head out to the right. Mm. Ah. 
And finally, after jumping lots and not getting killed lots by these enemies, we'll just drop down. Whoa, there was number eight, just above, just above the spikes, by the way. In case you were wondering, I, ac I tried to actually show you how to do it nice and slowly, but I accidentally fell down. But yeah, there was number eight in the, the uh, spike pit anyway. And that is another level completos. And away and onwards we'll go. Number five. So this is the last level of the caves before we do the very small um, caves, uh, the snowboarding section. So now, again, if you want to do a puzzle, you can. Uh, it's always worth just doing it if we've got the puzzles available. You can get a heart upgrade, Santa's hat or Santa's boots. Uh, I just went for Santa's boots uh, because, funnily enough, I just wanted to do this little quote. Stupid, ugly, out of date. Oh, this is ridiculous. If I can't find something nice to wear, I'm not going. Ooh. Ah. Mmm. That's it, I'm not going. You'll obviously have to imagine me doing that, which I might put up in a uh, short story on YouTube. Me doing a Grinch impression of, uh, yeah. Anyway, on to the... <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, Max can jump through these doors, um, which always comes in handy, so you'll have to get uh, keep Max on the door. Oi! Stay there. Yeah, yeah, Max. And then you can simply just nip straight through. Um, there's nothing that's going to be too difficult or anything, even though it is the last, uh, basically, level of the caves. There's nothing that's too difficult. It's just all the things that we've seen and done before. So again, I will, as we head to the left, first of all, actually. So we're going to do some candy last one to the left. Wait until there is nothing. You don't actually have to wait. We can just continue on to the left. Jump up, grab the first puzzle piece. So, a PP1 is done. PP number one is done, huh? Hey, hey, hey. I don't know what I was doing then. Some kind of Grinch dance. Mmm. Ah. 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 Oh. Ha! Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright mate, time to break into people's houses now, Australian style. Although, does it snow in Australia, or is it just boiling all year round? Uh, I don't know, I've never been to Australia. When I come, who wants to let me in their house to stay? Uh, I'm just joking, of course, that's probably weird. Right, into the bathroom on the right is the first one. Get away from me, burnt cookie! I, oh, God damn it! There's a second one. So, grab the one from the right in the bathroom, quickly get upstairs, dodging while you can, go to the right again, and we're gonna just do a little hide-in, just so one of them can at least bag her off downstairs. You could probably just, uh, you know, continue to dodge them, but sometimes, because obviously, obviously the, some of the camera angles, you might get a little, yeah, as you can see, I've run into plenty in my time. So using Max then, we go into the third, uh, the room on the right to get the third puzzle piece. So that should be PP number three. Uh, make a show out of it with your sonic boots on, Mr. Grinch. And head out to the left. Again, you should be on three when we get out of that room. Room. But another cheeky puzzle piece is coming up here. Before going to the right, drop down. Make sure to drop down here, and the fourth one, we just literally uh, landed straight on top of there. There it is, Do it, me doing that little jiggle. That's where it was. So again, that should be number four before heading to the right. Again, very easily missed that one, as I just got spiked in the head from above. <laughs> Luckily, we've got a green onion haircut, so it doesn't matter. 
Mm, the stench of onion is fantastic again. Number five is coming up, but as you can see, right on the seesaw, so make sure to grab that before heading and try not to get hit in the head by the Batman. So that sounded like Zoidberg. The Batman, why not both? He never actually says why not both a Zoidberg in Futurama, but still. Anyway, continuing on, moving on. Huh. Feel the wind on your chin and the chill in the air? In no time, old Grinch, you'll be out of this lair. Ha! 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 So, what we're going to do now, we're going to fly up onto this flying platform. Yeah, just about. And as we go up, we're going to go to the left. That is where the next PP is going to be. The next puzzle piece. There we go, that's number six. And then we can continue straight on to the left in order to get into another house. So, to the left room, there is another burnt cookie. Burnt gingerbread man. Uh, the puzzle piece there was in the middle of the room, so that's number seven. Heading upstairs. Oh, but somebody decides to uh, try and come downstairs. Huh. Well, thank you. Anyway, dodging past them as best you can. Head up, go to the left, and what I'm going to do is actually hide in the wardrobe so at least one of them can bagger off downstairs. You go back in the oven, Mr. Cookie. Or is that supposed to be chocolate cookie? Probably a chocolate uh, gingerbread man is what I'm thinking, though. Uh, but still. Anyway, out we get. What we're going to do is head into the right-hand side of the room, which is going to be the bathroom. That's where you can see puzzle piece number eight. And, oh, look at that. Hid hiding by the toilet, straight around. I tell you what, the Grinch is now Cristiano Ronaldo. We're going to call him Grinchiano Ronaldo. Yes. Heading up the steps. Grab the presents again if you want. If you don't care, then don't worry about it. But we're heading out. And that should be number eight. Done! So now we've just got a little bit to do, and we will complete the level. Grinch final? <laughs> With a hatred so deep, wow, that reminds me of hate, 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 double hate, loathe entirely. And I think that's a lot of us about a lot of other stuff. Um, <laughs> isn't it? Not just about Christmas. Uh, that, that resonates with us on a more personal all year round quip, doesn't it? So once we do this puzzle again, I've just gone for Santa. Again, you can choose whichever one you want. I just went for Santa's hat because... Uh, I'm looking good. And then it is finally time to do level six, which is going to be the first snowboarding section. Now, again, there is going to be eight puzzle pieces that we need to grab. Uh, you can just press the A button to jump. The B button, you will need to press the B button to go faster. Um, otherwise, the avalanche behind you will eat you up like a Grinch baby eating a plate, which I always thought was a cookie for some reason. But yes, he used to eat the plate. And they feast, 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 feast. So, it's actually not too bad. I'll tell you exactly where all the puzzle pieces are as much as we can. <clears throat> In fact, I'll tell you where they all are. 
as quickly as I can is what I meant. So what you got to do is basically press left once or right once in order to go left and right, obviously. First one, we're going to head to the left here, obviously avoiding the gap. The first puzzle piece is going to be uh, effectively straight in the right. So go to the right. Then we can jump over to the left. Second one's going to be directly in front of us in the middle. There it is. That's number two and number three as well. Number four is going to be on the left. When we get out of the gaps, make sure to go to the left. That's number four right there. Number five is going to be on the right-hand side. So just make sure there it is to stay on the right-hand side. I jump over to the left again, of course. Number six is going to be coming up very soon. It's going to be effectively straight down the middle. There it is. So that's number six. So number seven is going to be on the right-hand side. Quickly, there it is. Job done. And then number eight is also going to be on the right-hand side. So quickly move to the right uh, now. There it is. And that's number eight. So just avoid everything and get to the end. It should be finished. Job done. Then we can go to the countryside. Well, here, let's get our first heart upgrade and to the countryside. First heart upgrade unlocked. So another cheeky new little thing coming into the game, it's basically just ice. Um, you can actually control yourself very easily on the ice, but you do slip ever so slightly, as you can see. So, you know, you, you know what ice is. So just try not to slip into enemies. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's about all I can say with this one. But in terms of different enemies and any patterns and anything like that, it's still effectively the same from the caves. We just we can see more of the outside now. That's that's uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Hmm. Ha. Ha. Hmm. Ha. Ha. It's taken a while, but let's go and get our first PP. Let's take our first PP of the level. So, we've got some who's. Now, what I was on about noises earlier, um, the one of them sounds like, you know, if you're British and you have kids, you will probably know Mr. Tumble, who is, he's very good, but just like most kids' programs, he's very annoying, but basically one of the who's sound like uh, that guy. 
The first one is under the piano. The second one is just to the right, as you can see by the fireplace. Stop! Stop giving me love! So there's the second one by the fireplace. So if you can avoid um, bad Santa right there. And oh, uh, Mrs. Tumble, Mr. Tumble, we can just head upstairs. There's the third one right underneath the table. So that's a nice easy three to do. To do. And then that's it for this one. Let's get out. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that skill? Avoiding enemies and avoiding icicles on the head. Oh, yeah. Right, head it to the left when we get up on the platform here. Number four is right there. So now we can just simply drop straight down. Be careful with there. I think I actually got quite lucky not to just go straight onto the spikes. Uh, obviously, if you're probably aware by now, if you do die and you've already collected a um, puzzle piece or whatever, you have to collect that puzzle piece again. You're probably already aware by that since we are now effectively halfway through the game. Sorry, my bird. So don't go to the right just yet then. What we're going to do is wait for the flying platform. And here we go. There we go. So once we're up, we can then... What we need to do is do some swinging to the left. And then that is where puzzle piece number five is going to be. PP5. Oh. So into the next house. Apparently we're going through a lot of houses in this game. And we're stealing a ton of presents. Where Grinch's, Grinchy boys put in them? Uh, let's not find out. Let's not go there, huh? So uh, just wait in until Mr. Chocolate Cookie Man is over to the left. So we can go into the right, past the bathroom, head underneath the table to grab, yep, PP number six. And uh, we'll just wait for him again, because what we need to do is go straight down. And... There you go. So you should be good here uh, with Max. So make uh, put Max in the left-hand side room. And that should be puzzle piece number seven. And that's it for this house. We will go out and puzzle piece number eight is going to appear ever so shortly. So um, this spider just basically swings a little bit. So that's, that's uh, yeah. So if you can try and do what I just did not... Um, and try to avoid him, that's, yeah, that's all good. But that's all that spider does. Slight swing, so, you know, just be careful. And number eight is actually right here. So we need to play as Max, so switch to Max. There's the eighth one just underneath. Switch to Grinchy Boy, end the level. Oh. I want to do a puzzle! But since we can't do a puzzle, let's continue on with the countryside. Numere Tunoe. That's two in some kind of language, right? First PP is coming up. We're going to drop down instead of going to the right. It's right there next to the guy who is, well, I, <laughs> I don't know, but he must be tripping some major gingerbread cookie right now. So we'll just leave him to his own devices and get smashed up by a spider. So, yeah, make sure to grab that first one and then we can continue onwards. Um, if you can, try and be as less silly as me and do some candy lassoing. <laughs> 
or of course sweet lassoing because you know British people are sweet, candy are American. Well, you know the whole Britain versus America fight thing. Yeah, it's constant, isn't it? You say candy, we say sweets. You say aluminum, we say aluminium. We do things correctly. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, actually, I'm not. Right, uh, down the bottom of the stairs is number two. Watch out for Chocolate Cookie Man. Head into the right-hand side room. Ah, who's on Cookie Man's? We'll just hide a minute. And apparently almost get straight into the Bald Man. Uh, don't know what the hell I'm trying to do right there, but there we go. So heading up the steps now. And the third one, as you can see, is right in front of us. So grab that one. We are going to continue heading up the stairs. Man, how rich are these who's, bro? They are pretty rich to be uh, having these four-story houses. So go as Max. Go into the room on the left. And you should be able to just pick out the uh, number four. If you can't, just get the Grinch closer to the wall on the left and then use Max. But that should, again, be number four while we head out. Huh? From one house to another, straight in, straight in front of us, number five. And a oh, nice little Christmas decorations, getting me all Christmassy. Ew! Straight up underneath the table is number six. So just wait for the. Ew! Oh! Grab all the presents that you can. Again, you don't want to know where the Grinch is sticking these. He has powers beyond comprehension of where to hide things. Hmm. So up the steps again. Grab some presents if you want, but the more important one was number seven right there. So number seven of the puzzle pieces. So again, we've just got one more to grab. And puzzle piece number eight is going to be just at the top of all these as soon as I... Stop messing about. Ah, oh, gadget. There it is. There's number eight. So now you can safely finish the level, knowing the fact that I have guided you through some harsh winters and some puzzle collecting puzzles. going on there in that last section but you done it once again you have my you know my uh, yeah so puzzle yes let's go do that um so what next is going to be santa's jacket or the jetpack um again you have to do these two anyway but we'll go for the jetpack and no it's not as you think it is it literally just gives you a little boost i thought you could just fly all around the level as it turns out and no. Oh. 
So in order to use the jetpack, just uh, press the right bumper and then just let go and you will fly up if you and then you can do you can still do a du double jump even when you're in the air so you can get even higher so you get the achievement there for using the jetpack so whoop, up you go so again hold the right bumper for a second or two let go and then you can press the a button to jump a little bit higher magic it's the christmas of magic i mean the magic of christmas So, kind of a little bit of a secret area, but we are into the next house, so run past Mr. Ginger Cookie Man, and the second one here. I'm gonna head down these steps. And, ow, you monkey. First one then is obviously going to be under this table here. So, again, if you get hit, you can obviously wait until all the cookies go back, or we can just continue on, try and dodge them the best you can. Heading all the way to the right, there is the second puzzle piece, and head down the steps. And the third one is in this room as well, right there, right in the middle. So now what we're actually going to do is... We're going to wait. We're going to wait. And we're going to blow your house down. No, wait, sorry, that's the that's the wrong one. Uh, we do actually need to dodge these broties again, so we need to head back up the steps. Wee past that kooky. And upwards and onwards again. You might get hit. Yeah, there he is. So he, he didn't quite... Get the hell out of my way, but it's all good. And then exit to the left. Ha! Mm -hmm. Ha! Oh! Oh! So, we'll wait for the platform here, let's get up. And jump to the left, when we can, on Icy and Slicy. And you should be able to just drop down, watch out for these swinging balls in your face. Nobody wants a pair of swinging balls, especially not those chunky ones. Uh, ah! My face! I didn't do that on purpose, I swear down. I swear down. Somebody's fabulous! Right, so onwards we go. That should have been uh, puzzle piece number four, of course. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. 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 So, once we drop down, don't go to the right just yet. We go into wait for Max, wherever the hell he's going. Oh, Max. There he is. So, get Max on the uh, switch. We can drop down. Try and avoid the spiders if you can, or kill him dead, whichever one you want. Drop down again. Number five. There it was, just to the bottom left of the screen. Number five, puzzle piece done. And Max, what the... Uh, get back on that switch, boy! Hmm. Ha! 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 
Time to break in, mate. Right, let's do it. Australian style. Don't know what Australian burglars look like. Uh, pretty much the same all around the world. Right, the sixth one is just under this table in this room in the middle here. Obviously, you've probably just seen it. Head into the right, straight in front of us there. There was another one. Hide under the bed. We're actually going to get an achievement now. That's for basically hiding in a wardrobe, for hiding in a bed, and hiding under a table as well. So, you should get that achievement. If not, um, just... I mean, you should, because we had to get puzzle pieces. As you see, number eight was there as well. Uh, we've had to get puzzle pieces in all different types of locations, so you should have got it. If not, just hide in loads of other places that you can, which is pretty much just beds, wardrobes, and tables, and a piano. So, now that we've got all eight done, we can continue lovingly until the very end. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Ha. 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 So that's another level done. Now, just going back to, obviously, a few quotes there. The one from Cindy Lou Who, of course, in the 2000 film. Nobody deserves... Nobody should be alone on Christmas. You know what? I think if this movie was made now, I think she'd feel a lot different. I think we're kind of in the era now where... Spending Christmas alone actually sounds pretty fantastic, doesn't it? We are in the era where... We, we can text and phone people and we're all lovey-dovey on the phone and stuff, but... In terms of actually seeing other people, well, we hate them. We all hate people, don't we? We don't. We, we just want to. We just want to spend Christmas alone, chilling, drinking, having a good time. Um. So yeah, that's that's what I think. Maybe we should remake the the Christmas fi the the Grinch film with the uh, totally new quotes and dialogue. Everyone deserves to spend Christmas alone. It's just nice not to be bothered for a day. And <laughs> of course, I'm just joking. Slightly. Uh, right, so on to number four. Again, if you chose the Santa jacket, you would have got the achievement there for completing the outfit. Again, that's unmissable, providing you are uh, still grabbing all of the puzzle pieces. Because um, you'll have to get them all anyway. Ah. 
into then the first of the houses. So again, stick the presents where apparently the sun doesn't shine in Mr. Grinch. Hide under the table in order to get the first puzzle piece of the level. Whee! All right, peanut head, no problem. Uh, head into the right here, past the bathroom, into this next room and head down the stairs. Uh, again, you will probably be hit there by Mr. Black Hat Gare. Uh, we're going to hide under the table, although he... Uh, in fact, no, he would stay there. So go into the left of the room. If you can't, as you can see, like I just couldn't, just slowly uh, walk so you don't get caught. And there we go. With Max, grab the second piece there in the left room. Uh, head back up these stairs anyway. Uh, obviously, just be careful because there's about three or four of them. The right in the bathroom has the third one, and we can exit straight out. Ah. Mm. Ah. Oh. Ah. So when we get onto the flying platform, we're actually going to head to the left rather than the right for a minute. Uh, you can use the bell if you want to get a checkpoint, but it's not necessary. So obviously we're going to open up the door with little Maximilian, little Maximus, little Maxidoodle, little Maxi Pad. Uh, no, wait, never mind. And get the fourth puzzle piece from the top. Yay! Broken angles. So we're going to need to go into some more moving candy lassos. Uh, the fifth puzzle piece is going to be coming up shortly, by the way. So jump onto this one. Um, <laughs> there was number five, by the way. Uh, just down by the presents. So make sure to drop down and grab that before heading to the right. Um, I try, Again, tried doing it properly, but I messed up. So anyway, you've seen it anyway. Into the next house we go. Ah, get away. There's number six in the table. On the table. Continuing on, number seven then is going to be down the... S no, it's going to be in this room here on the right. Sorry, just underneath the table. But apparently, we're going to head downstairs first. Because there was one downstairs, as I thought. So there's number seven, and obviously we know where number eight is. But we're just going to wait until Mr. Chocolate Cookie Man disappears. Or I'm going to get out just when I was hiding. That actually looked pretty dodgy then, didn't it? Um... Try and avoid this one if you can. You should still have another heart, maybe. But there is... <laughs> just walk straight in front of him. Nice. There's number eight. And then eventually, after we get out of here... Stop loving me! I don't want love! Yeah, let's try that again. So whichever side that he's decided to go, we'll head to the right and get out of there. But that should be all eight for this level done, so now we can just nip it on to the end. Ah. Oh. Mm. Ha. Mm. Ha. On to number five. So the last uh, level of the countryside before we do a little snowboarding one. Ah. 
Max to be standing on the old pad of life, the old Maxi, Maxi on the pad. <laughs> As the Grinch jump back in through the pipe and the first puzzle piece is going to be just past the door, right here, right in the way. So there's no real way that you can miss that one. At least I don't think so. Into the next house then, and away we go. So into this right room, there's going to be the second puzzle piece. Into this uh, room and continue on to the right, into the bathroom, that's puzzle piece number three. That's the third PP pee -pee of the level. Heading up the stairs. Uh, oh, and apparently getting smashed in the head by gingerbread cuckoo. We'll just head straight out, because there is nothing else here, thankfully. Now be careful here, I accidentally die, so what you need to do is drop down, candy lasso your way there, and get the fourth puzzle piece. As you can see, somehow, my, um, my string from my pants, or whatever the Grinch has, it wasn't long enough. So there we go, I got lucky with that one, but there was the fourth puzzle piece, just underneath the candy lasso, so again, you should be able to grab that one. And then continue moving forward, as I thought I died, but I didn't this time. Meh. <laughs> Oh, blast these Christmas who houses and triumphant music. So, number five then. Um, we're going to hide. <laughs> and the reason we're going to hide is because if you try going into the right room, he will just come straight for you and hit you down. And we've got uh, Mrs. Tumble or whatever right there. Then we can just drop down the steps. Oh, and apparently that guy was there anyway. So this one actually took me a few tries as we head underneath the table and go to the left. You should be able to pick up number six. So there's five under the table and six in the left room as Max. That should be number six. But yeah, because um, I kind of just got unlucky a couple of times here in terms of the who's. <laughs> oh, the humanity. How uh, uhing. Uh, no, never mind. But they kept coming up and down the stairs and matching me up anyway. Uh, so, get into the right room quick as you can. Underneath the table is going to be puzzle piece number seven. And wait until the doorway is pretty much clear. And then, go, 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 soldier. Heading up the steps. And see, there was another one getting straight in my way. So, thank you for that. Um, but that's it. We can just now head to the right and exit. Oh. So after dodging the big gold balls in your face, just continue on to the right, the eighth and final puzzle piece, as Max is going to be just underneath, so grab that, finish the level. Oh. In between bounces. 
So yes, this is where we're going to get the achievement for getting your second heart upgrade, and of course the mega quote. Help me! I'm feeling! Oh Max, look! I'm leaking! Uh, and then we're on to level 6, the snowboarding section. By the way, speaking of 6... 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting in quotes wherever I can here. Because it's the Grinch, and the Grinch is key. So again, just like the previous snowboarding section anyway, we need to find eight puzzle pieces. Again, it's just a case of um, pressing the B button to go faster, the A button to jump, and I will try and direct you as best I can, as efficiently as I can, to get the eight puzzle pieces. This time we got a giant golden ball. Now every family member has the one who has the golden balls, you know, the absolute favorite. So uh, we basically got your f uh, favorite family member coming up. Anyway, number one was right in front of us. You couldn't really have missed it. Uh, number two is going to be on the right-hand side. So uh, make sure to go to the right there. There we go. That's number two. Make sure you get, as we go to the right, make sure to get in the middle as quick as you can. That's number four. I tell a lie, number four is coming up. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so just stay in the middle. This is num this is actually number four this time. Number five and six, we need to get in the middle again. So there's five, six is directly in front of us. And we can continue on. <laughs> now get to the left hand side, that's number seven. And number eight is going to be over on the left, so jump over, get to the left. Number eight done. Completos Maglitos. It's Whoville, baby! Welcome to Whoville! I'm all toasty inside. And I'm leaking. So, a few things have changed in this one. For instance, we've got new enemies. Uh, music notes, of course, because music is not triumphant and joyous. It's terrible over Christmas. Actually, me, I love Christmas music. Yes, the same 12 songs that play every Christmas. I love it all. Um, but yes, yeah, so the music notes are new enemies. Um, obviously, there's more spikes. There are Christmas trees that we've got to avoid. Um, and some other stuff, but we'll we'll get into it when we get there. So first puzzle piece then is going to be right in front of us on the floor next to the old Christmas tree. Up the stairs we go again, obviously avoiding all the who's as we have who've done. Nah. Into the right side room is puzzle piece number two. So that's his second pee, pee of the level. And wait for the uh, skinny conductor there to get out. 
uh, the skinny controller, sorry. It's the fat controller's brother from Thomas the Tank Engine. Head into the room on the left, avoiding Mr. Tumble. And just head out to the exit. Job done. Oh. So with this bit then, don't bother jumping over the platforms because you get smashed up by these musical notes. So just walk on each platform, apart from that part apparently, and you should make it easily with no problems. I kept jumping and kept getting my head entangled with music. Oh, oh now we're just being like jolly old Saint Nick. So down the chimney we go, obviously the third one here is right in front of us, so just wait until the skinny controller nips off to the left, grab it from underneath the bed, go into the left room, dodge Miss, Mrs. Tumble, and into the bathroom here, that's puzzle piece number four, head down the steps, luckily no one's in our way this time, and just head out to the exit! Beware Christmas... So yes, as you can see, the spiders that once were spiders have now apparently turned into Christmas stockings. That's a hell of a Pokemon evolution, that is. And um, yes, Pokemon, they're basically going to use that in the next game now. Going to make another spider Pokemon and then upgrade them to stockings. Right, so we'll drop down over to the right on the platform. And there we go, drop down. If you just drop straight down, you will obviously get into the spikes. So just take your time with that part. That's a lot of balls flapping about right there, and we don't want it. No more balls hitting me in the face, thank you. Right, head up the stairs straight away then. Avoid the skinny controller, and head up again. Next puzzle piece straight under the piano. Whoop, there we go, so that's uh, PP number five. Go to the room on the left, and I just get got hit because, you know. Uh, make sure to grab, um, no, just a couple of presents before we climb up the chimney. Just like old Zinyuk. Ah. And so puzzle piece number six is coming up, so just do your best to bounce very carefully. Here is puzzle piece number six. It's in the middle of these two seesaws, so you need to wait until it's effectively up and then just jump straight down. Now, when I said two seesaws, I, I obviously meant one, uh, but that will be number six. Huh? Oh. And then your seventh PP of the level is coming up. We're going to drop down, do a big bounce. hey -ya! And we will get up onto the flying platform. That's what we're going for. And there is number seven then. So if you can lasso your way up there, you should have picked that one up. Now, do not head down the chimney yet. Do not head down the chimney. Drop down to the left. The eighth and final one is right there next to the unsure guard. Like, eh, should I go witch? I don't know what to do. I'm cold. I'm warm. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? But uh, yes, so once you have dropped down, grab that eighth one, then you can make your way back up. And then I'm just realizing that you probably could have got that one first. Would have been easier to do that. But there we go. So climb up, get down the chimney to end the level.
So here is another new enemy to deal with. It's basically a Christmas tree that once you get near it, you just got to walk to the left so it falls down and then jump on it to kill it. Imagine a killer Christmas tree. Is that a film? Or did I just make that up? Uh, so yeah, just wait until it stops bouncing and jump on it. I'm sure there's a film with a killer Christmas tree. Or it's a killer tree or something. Anyway, if you know, let me know. So jump up underneath the table and one to the right in the bathroom. So we uh, grab the one in the bathroom first, then we can hide under the table to grab number two. It's funny how you can all see me and exactly where I went underneath the table, but there we go. Uh, then just head out to the left. It's like, where's the Grinch gone? Where's that big, green, hairy football gone? Ow, egg ball, whichever one you want to call it. Anyway, lasso your way up, continue onwards. Oh. Ah. Use the jetpack. <laughs> it's funny, I did try getting up so we could jump on the roof a bit easier, but it doesn't matter, matter which way you go, the roof or the uh, ground underneath, it doesn't matter. We'll just jetpack our way up anyway. The third puzzle piece there was directly in front of us. Oh. So, PP number four is straight in front of us there, and then head straight up the stairs. And we will just hide for a second. In fact, there's no reason to hide. We're just trying to get past the skinny controller, which we did with ease. Uh, head into the room on the right, and it's going to be just to the... In fact, there's nothing there. Sorry, sorry, that's my bad. I was thinking of the next house, I think. Uh, the fifth one was just to the left by the wardrobe. And then we will go into the right-hand side room and head up the chimney when we are done. Aha, just stealing your presents. Screw Mrs. Tumble. So the sixth one then is in the air, right here. So you need to do a nice bit of bouncing and then... Oh god, I missed it. So you'd seen where it was just then, there we go. As soon as you jump up, you should have enough momentum there to get the number six. And then continue your sweet beloved uh, uh, mince pie. By the way, if you like mince pie, you are evil. Uh, mince pies are absolutely disgusting. But also, did you, as a child, didn't you believe in certain stuff as we get number seven just in front of the fireplace there? I thought mince pies had actual mince meat in them. So when I tasted one for the first time, oh boy, was I bitterly disappointed. So into the room on the right here, here's the number eight and final PP of the level. Then we'll just be able to continue onto the right and finish the level. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hmm. 
Aha! Oh. But we do have to be quite quick for this bit, so we'll drop down and then at the end we're going to jump and do a lasso candy pull. Right at the very end, you're going to have to jump over the guard as well, and you should have just enough time, providing you didn't get hit by the guard or the spider. And uh, yeah, that's effectively it. <laughs> Oh yes, as you can probably imagine, the, the levels, these last few levels, do get a little bit longer, but we are now on to Whoville level 3, which looks just like the countryside, but with a few more rocks and houses and stuff. Um, yeah, there's nothing really new going on. Uh, things do start getting a little, you know, just a little bit more intense in terms of enemies and balls flying towards your face and everything. Luckily, there's no uh, wieners. And by wieners, of course, I mean hot dogs, you know, those little wiener sausages. <laughs> right into the house, first puzzle piece directly in front of us there. Don't knock your own table over, you angry, angry pooville. Go into the right-hand side room again, and in between the beds is number two. So, beep beep number two. Uh, if you get hit, then, like I said, you get that little, that old retro-style bit of um, blinking and flashing where you get a couple of seconds of invulnerability. Um, and I think that's it. Yes, so we'll just head out to the left. But luckily for us, Max is going to get us our third one here, so that's PP number three. You need to stop drinking water for too many peepees. Once we jetpack ourselves up, go to the left on the seesaw, and you're going to find puzzle piece at number four. Uh, you do have to be... well, you don't have to be that quick. You should be able to grab it whichever way. Um, jetpack your way back up. That's uh, exactly what I failed to do. Use the jetpack. Ah. Use the jetpack. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Steal some presents. Right, when we get into the house, right under the table in front of us is PP number five. That's a lot of PP. Heading up the stairs, of course. 
And there is going to be another one on the next set, or the next room upstairs. Ouch, thank you for that, Mrs. Pooville. So heading to the left, there it is, just by the bed, so that's number six. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to get smashed in the head with a big blonde hairdo, or we can just continue on to the right. And there's nothing else here, so we can just go straight up to the exit zone, and we've only got two more left to grab. So number seven is going to appear right here. Uh, there's a musical note though, so just be aware of that one. Um, I don't know if this was just coincidence or not, but as soon as the musical note went up, then I could actually climb up. I don't know if that was, that probably was just a coincidence. But wait until the note goes, head all the way up to the top, that's number seven, and dive bomb out of there! Assassin's Creed! Leroy! Jigger! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Oh! Let us grab the last puzzle piece, shall we? Smash the cups of tea out! Uh, just walk straight in front of him, that was stupid. Uh, so head into the right-hand side room here, where we can find the not puzzle piece. So we'll just head upstairs. Might as well just get hit again, because why not? Over to the left, rather than the right. Sorry, he's getting a bit uh, crappy with that one. There it is. So just next to the bed right there is number eight. So that's all good. Now we will just... Eh, go away. Go away! Now we can head to the right and get out of here. And finish the level again. Oh. Oh. A Christmas ball. So with these Christmas balls, they're coming towards you this time. So what you need to do is just jetpack your way over. So as you can see, it was a bit slow there. So just keep jetpacking your way over. They're going to come every sort of set, couple of seconds or two. That's <laughs> Man, I got real mashed up there. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to that one. So they, they, it's really that's the only section along with the golden ball following behind. Only those two sections really. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's it. So now we are getting closer to the end. And Christmas will be shaved. <laughs> So one, two, chapter four, we go, we're going to get the achievement, which has a little spelling error in it. Unless it was designed on purpose, but uh, we're supposed to freeze something, but instead we're actually going to frez something. You'll see what I mean. Um, so again, you can just freeze an enemy by pressing the X button to get one of your big beloved balls into someone's face. 
And uh, that will unlock the achievement. Oh. Into the house of who's and who's and house and we are into the house of who's house house. Uh, toilet right in the middle of the uh, bedroom and the bathroom for some reason. But anyway, there's the first one just next to the Christmas tree or close to it. And then head out to the exit on the right. Oh. Mm. Time to grab LPP number two. There it is, just above us. So we will just jetpack our way up to the left. There we go, delicious. Oh. So we're about to frez something, press the X button to frez this guard, and the achievement will unlock Snowball for frezzing something. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I can barely speak English, let alone write it. So, uh, you know, I, I should be the last one taking the mickey. Ha! Ah. And into the house of life. The next house of the who's in the Pickwick triplets did it. Right, first, oh, the third one. Uh, the first of the house is underneath this table tennis table. From here, we'll just drop straight down past the skinny controller. And the next one's under this table. So that'll be number four. Number five, as you can see, was just next to the Christmas tree. In amongst a bunch of presents. So that'll be number five. And then continue onwards to the right. Oh. 
Ha! Ha! Oh! Which of the Pickwick Triblets did it? Beep, 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 beep. So, a couple of presents here. We don't care. We're going to head up the wooden steps. There's the next one under the next table tennis table. So, that'll be number six. We've got two more left to grab in this level, just in case you were wondering. It's eight every level, of course, since you already know. Uh, just got mashed up by the old blonde pineapple head right there. Head of the room on the left. Number seven is directly in front of the fireplace. There it is. And um, we'll just head up for good measure, because there ain't nothing else here. Oh. Ha. Ah. Oh. So number eight is just above us as well, so we're going to have to uh, do some careful plat bouncing or some bound forming. Bounce forming. Ha ha. Grinch's voice is fantastic in this, by the way. Meow, meow. Um, so it's going to be just above us, so we basically just have to uh, make a big double jump as much as we can. There's number eight. Once number eight is done, let's go finish the level. we got one more Whoville level left, then the short snow bunny one, and we are done. Funny how uh, we just get snowballs because during November we've got NNN, and if you know, you know, no, not November. Um, so we'll have plenty of snowballs, and then when December finally comes, if you've done the challenge, you probably will have snowballs left. Oh. Ah. 
So after a bit of intensity there at the start of the level, let's get some more puzzle pieces. So right under the table in this right hand side room, that's the first one. Head down the stairs. Oh, and we will go to the left. There is no other puzzle pieces here, so we're just grabbing some presents and heading out. And into yet another house. So again, grab some presents if you so wish. Um, or not, completely up to you, but up the stairs we go first of all. Head into the right hand side room, and we're gonna find the first puzzle piece, or the second puzzle piece, sorry. Uh, you can hide if you want, so you can sort of get past the cheap Freddy Krueger a little bit easier right there. Uh, or you can just run into another who if you want. <laughs> into the left room, there we go, that's puzzle piece number three. So we can head down the stairs. And we will continue heading down the next set of stairs. Hey, move! And just exit to the right. We're really on the rub now. Okay, so a couple of presents only on the right. So what we'll do to get the fourth puzzle piece is head up the stairs. Go into the right hand side in the bathroom. And there it is right next to cheap Freddy Krueger. The wish style of Freddy Krueger even. Ah, and there's the wish style of Freddy Krueger's dad. So there's three of them on this floor. So just be careful. So from here, what we'll do is go into the left room. Grab the fifth puzzle piece. Get on out of there and head up the stairs once more. And anything here? Nope, just some presents. Uh, excuse me, skinny controller, we'll just nip around. Head up the stairs again, the who's are some kind of rich broskies. Into the right, into the bathroom to get puzzle piece number six. Go into the left hand side room, uh, just to get a couple of presents. Otherwise you can just head straight upstairs, which we're gonna do. Number seven is in front of the chair here, so grab that one and then we need to go back down. So we can exit, go into the left, and up the chimney like old Shane Nick. Oh.
And we shall come up to the final puzzle piece very shortly. We're going to cross this bridge, or we're going to stand in the middle of this bridge, do a couple of double jumps. Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't used your freeze ability, now's the time to do it to get that achievement. I've done it earlier, of course, you've probably seen. But that's puzzle piece number eight, and we are on to the finaliest of the finaliest of the levels. And that'll be game set match point, you guys. Let us do it. Now, there's nothing special about this one or anything any challenging. It's the same as you've already done, only this time we're on a Santa sleigh. So, effectively, what you can do if you want is press the X button to toss presents back into the house. The way you do that is if you're on the left-hand side, you can toss them into the left-hand side. Or you can jump over the steps. So, this time we're obviously looking forward. So, the first puzzle piece on the right, there we go. Make sure to grab that. Press the A button if you want to jump over as well. Second in the middle. The third one's on to the left. The fourth one is going to be coming up quite quickly now as well. Obviously, you've got a couple of hearts as well. You don't actually have to toss the presents in if you don't want. The fourth's on the left. Jump over that. Jump over this. Fifth is on the right. The sixth is going to be um, in the middle. But effectively, basically, you can see a lot easier than if it, the camera is going down. But there's the sixth one right in the middle. Um, the seventh is on the left. And then number eight is going to be in an area, believe it or not. And the area is on the right. Bam, that's all eight done. Finish the level, complete the last puzzle, and... It's done. So there we go, that one is complete, so we should have one achievement left now, and that's for completing all puzzles. So what you can do is just speed up this bit. And you know that one. Um, again, you can skip the credits if you so wish, but we will then continue. Press Y to do the last puzzle, and that should be all achievements done. So I will leave it here, so... Thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope this has got you in the Christmas mood. Because it certainly has me. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Um, uh, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members and everyone who interacts with me on the daily. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. By the way, we uh, after this one, we have the game of the year coming out. Oh yes, it's Bluey. Oh, Bluey the video game. It's coming. But I shall see you in the next one anyway, guys and gals. Bigger! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.